Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach, and today I wanted to talk to you about reverse training. And I see people do this all the time. I mean, literally more often than not, I see people reverse training their dog. And what exactly do I mean by that? You think you're training your dog, but what you think you're training, you're actually teaching them the opposite. So I wanted to go over that a little bit in this video, give you an idea of what you may be doing wrong, what you should be doing, and why. So let's get right into it. All right, so I'm in my car today because I had to drop my husband off at the doctor and wait for him um, because of this whole COVID thing. I can't go in with him. I'm waiting and working. And so I thought I would come and just shoot this really quick video for you guys because this is such an important lesson to learn and most people with dogs have not learned it. And I don't want you to be one of those people that doesn't understand, that doesn't know your dog is going to thank you for it, believe me. So um, I'm, I'm struggling here because I talk with my hands and I have my computer. So anyway, um, <laughs> the best example I can think of of what I, I would call reverse training and a lot of other dog trainers actually call it the same thing. It's, it, it's this idea that you think you're training your dog to do something and when in reality the methods that you're using are training your dog the exact opposite. Um, so that's where the, the idea of reverse training comes from. The best example that I can think of, and I see people do this all the time, is you, co you call for your dog to come to you, right? You're trying to teach your dog to come to you. Maybe you're out at the park or whatever, and, and your dog is off leash, maybe even in your backyard. And you tell your dog, hey, come on, come on. You know, you get your dog to come to you. Your dog comes running up to you, and what happens? you grab their collar and start leading them in the house or into the car or whatever it is, uh, wherever you're going. That action right there of grabbing their collar, you are training them the exact opposite. You're telling them that you, if they come to you, not so good things. I mean, good things don't really happen. It's not such a good thing to come when you call them because you just grab their collar and jerk them around. That's not a good thing. That's not positive that's pretty negative in fact so um what and this happens with a lot of different training cues but come is such an important cue teaching your dog to come when called um in fact i have an entire course just dedicated to this one cue because it is one of the most important things we can teach our dog and I mean, it's, it's an essential life-saving skill, potentially. Of course, we hope we're never in a situation like that, but potentially that's what it is. And um, for anyone interested, I will link the course in the description below. It's incredibly um, inexpensive, especially for what you get. I mean, potentially life-saving cue. Um, and I often, I, I tend to only offer it once a year. Um, so if you go to the link in the description below and it actually takes you to the page, you are in luck. It's available. If you go to the link below and you get a sorry, um, you know, check back next time, it's because it's not currently available and I apologize, but put your name on the list and I will let you know when it is available again. Um, but this is such a powerful cue and for so many people to be uh, inappropriately responding to their dogs when their dog comes to them, it, 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 it that's life threatening in itself, right? Because if you are, even, be, even though you don't understand and you don't know, that's why I'm making this video. If you don't understand, you don't know that you are effectively telling your dog not to come to you that, with your behavior, even though with your voice you're saying to come to you, I mean, that's so incredibly dangerous. So um, what what we should be doing instead is when your dog comes to you, reward that. Don't grab their collar, provide a reward, whether that's a food reward or a play reward or just praise and affection. You know, every dog is different and the hierarchy of values of all of these different rewards can be different for every different dog. But again, I mean, always have treats with you no matter really especially if you're out at a park or something there's no way you should be there with your dog and not have treats always have treats with you but 
reward, reward, reward. If that's the behavior you want, if you tell your dog to come to you and they come to you, that's freaking amazing. Reward that. Don't ever grab their collar or pick them up or drag them or grab them or push them or pull them. That's not positive. That's not a reinforcer. That's not a positive reinforcer. Excuse me. It is a reinforcer, but a negative reinforcer. Um, and that's not what we want. We don't want our dogs to willingly come to us and then because we don't know any better, reinforce that they shouldn't come to us. That's what so many people do this and it is so unfortunate. Um, so if you're doing this, let me know in the comments below if you're like, oh my gosh, thank you for explaining this to me <laughs> and I'm never going to do this again. I will keep treats with me go ahead and post that in the comments below or maybe you already knew this but you know somebody else or you've seen somebody else do this post that in the comments too because I know so many people I see this I mean you know since we've been locked in our houses most of the year I haven't seen it as much this year but I mean just being out and about and a person in the world I see it all the time and you know of course my gut instinct is to go running up to this person and say stop you don't know what you're doing I, I would never train that I would never teach someone to grab their dog's collar it's, it's just inappropriate. Um, it, it, I mean, unless you're in an emergency situation, you have to, of course, so that's a caveat. But, uh, you know, if your dog is coming to you willingly, don't provide a negative reinforcer to them. Provide positive reinforcers. Provide that food reward or that praise reward or that play reward, um, love and affection, whatever it is that you have available at the moment, give it to them. Give them a positive reinforcer because otherwise you're effectively reverse training. Your your dog is willingly coming to you and you're saying, ah, ha, gotcha. Didn't like that too much, did you? Because now I'm providing a negative reinforcer, which in their brain says, ooh, if I come to them when they call me, then something not so fun happens. I don't want to do that anymore. So maybe I'm just not going to come when they call me. I'm not going to do it anymore. So that, that's what reverse training is. And that was, that's probably the best example that I can provide in a video um, of reverse training. But um, I hope that makes sense. If it does, let me know in the comments below. Um, if, again, if you're doing this and you're like, Oh, mind blown. Thank you so much for revealing this to me because I didn't understand. Go ahead and post that in the comments below. That's what I'm here for. Um, so I love hearing comments like that saying thank you so much um, because I don't want, you don't want, you know you don't want your dog to fear you or not want to come to you for any reason. Um, and I know that's not what you want either, which is why this channel is here. <laughs> um, I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions at all, whether it's pertaining to this video or something else with your pet, let me know in the comments below. Of course, I am not a veterinarian. If you have a medical emergency, contact your veterinarian um, immediately. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> if you haven't already, make sure you check the links in the description. Um, there is a link to the beginner dog training series. Definitely check that out. There's a link to the group. Join the family. If you're not a member of the group, I don't know why you're not. There's so much free, valuable information in this group between the files and just having access to me to ask questions. Um, you can yeah, you can ask questions, you can post pictures, you can post videos, you can share things, you can interact with other pet parents. Um, there are thousands of people in the group. I don't know why you haven't joined yet. Go ahead and check the link in the description and join the group. Of course, I have online video training. I have an ebook. Or, um, if you're in the US, I can send you a paper copy if you prefer a paper copy. Um, I really recommend the book for any pet parent, like no matter what level you're at, definitely check out the book. All of these links are in the description below. Uh, again, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. Thank you so much for being here with me in this kind of unconventional video, but hey, this is where I am and I need to continue to bring you content. So, <laughs> all right guys, thanks so much for being here in this video. I can't wait to see you in the next one. So until then, Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.